stay behind that line and it's all good. That's fine, I'll back up to that line. Cool. Now, now. No. Now. No. Put it down. Nope. Um, I was just made aware of a situation with a customer where he was angry. Are you guys filming for something? Yes. If what he is saying is true, then, then your shirt is right. Do you have authority on a public sidewalk? Are you a law enforcement officer? Mm, yeah. Do you guys have a uh, permit? You should be concerned yeah. if somebody's saying that. that's terrible. I walk the premises all day long. Is there something I can help you guys with today? State your phone number real quick so I can make sure to send you all this. We don't have to talk to them. What's going on? All right. You guys can be dismissed though. No. I'm not going nowhere. All right, cool. Can I get you guys some water or anything? No, that's ridiculous. Are yeah. you guys aware that you guys are completely blocking the sidewalk as well? Yes, we are. Right, let's be real. All you can do is kill me. This guy's bumping music for us. Welcome to Impact Media, where we explore the captivating world of public filming, exposing a society immersed in cameras and ignorance. Join us for a thrilling ride as we enlighten, entertain, and make you facepalm at the astonishing lack of privacy awareness. We relentlessly remind people they are under constant surveillance, and any desired privacy must be self-created. Experience the natural reactions of unsuspecting individuals to public filming. Laugh, question, and brace yourself for eye-opening and mind-boggling moments that make you wonder, did that really just happen? Gain knowledge knowledge about your rights and freedoms in a tech-driven world where even your coffee cup could be spying on you. Welcome to a channel that exposes absurdities, one camera at a time. At Impact Media, we disseminate all our interactions for public consumption of our educational media. Every captured interaction, whether humorous, thought-provoking, or educational, is made available to the public. We believe in spreading awareness and knowledge, ensuring our content reaches as many people as possible, and you can help by liking this video now. Through sharing our encounters, we engage and educate a wide audience, empowering individuals to navigate the complexities of a tech-filled society while keeping our rights in mind. Remember, your support is crucial in amplifying our message. Don't forget to take a second and like our videos so the YouTube algorithm bots can share them far and wide. Together, let's make a powerful impact. Are you guys allowed to be filming? Shouldn't have said yes. Sorry guys, I didn't get time to do an intro today. Um, Impact Media here in Orange County um, with Simple and Lizard Media. Um, we were on the way to the church and just happened upon a bank um, where some people were using in the sidewalk ATMs. It made us a little curious because the ATM was literally right against the sidewalk. Um, which, I, to me, that's a weird position, but yeah. So guys, we were invited a few weeks back by uh, a young woman uh, attorney to come and film outside the Saddleback Church here in Newport Beach. I don't know how busy of a church it's going to be. I drove by about 30 minutes ago and there wasn't anyone there yet. Um, but yeah. Alright guys, we are where we were invited to be. Alright guys, this is the uh, church that we got invited to by the attorney. Um, to come and film today. We're gonna so they have a bunch of branches of this church. This just appears to be yet another. We would always love water. Snack or something like that? We, we always love... Standing out here in the sun. Yeah. I, yeah. We're, we're not going to say no to water. Okay. No Appreciate problem. it.
you know, for the water. Yeah, it's a good uh, good job for them. Uh, the other ones are too afraid to approach us, but. Nothing worse than standing out here in the sun. Yeah, hey, you're good. Thank Appreciate you. it. Yo, enjoy, guys. Yeah. solves homelessness housing affordable housing So I had a question guys, if all of the, uh, I haven't really had a lot of great conversations yet with uh, other religions, so I can't really throw that into this question yet. Um, of all of the Christians that I've had the opportunity to meet while filming, and I call it an opportunity because a lot of the engagements have been pretty well. Um, not so well um, but of all of these engagements why is it that a couple of them have translated the same book into if you are you know diddled fiddled by the church by a church member that that is God's plan and at the same time and one time in the same conversation the other day um you know, trying to say that, you know, you have to, you have to join the church or you're going to hell. Um, I, I have trouble reconciling the notion that you have to be religious, um, and follow the Bible while also being okay with abuses that are happening not only outside the church but within the church and saying that that is God's plan. Seems quite a bit of a mess. SoCal Transparency here. So good. I find this to be very weird signage. So they have kids, 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 kids. Like we're bringing them to you. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> 
Guys, I want you to remember also, so a member, a member of this religion right here, had a long conversation with us the other day, as a member of this, okay, it's a member of this organization, on camera, told us that the molestation of children within the church is God's plan, and you guys saw that on camera. So, when a church-going member supporting this organization says that child molestation is in God's plan on camera, confirmed twice on the video, you guys saw the video, that to me is grotesque, that that is acceptable behavior here at the church. So you guys watched the interview, you saw it confirmed two times, so. Is there a reason that one of your guys is a member of your organization said on camera in an interview that molesting children in the church is God's plan? I don't know where you get that at, but that is so... We did a full interview, sit down interview with somebody over an hour long. Not this church. Confirmed twice. Okay. We just love on people. Kids too? Sir, you're trying to bait me. No, no, I'm just asking, I want to ask a question. We came here to do an investigation on the story. I don't have any idea what you're talking about. Okay. God loves you. Have a great day. That's what this other gentleman told us. He said we need to be a member of the church and that it was okay to molest kids because it's part of, because it's part of God's plan. I don't know where you get that information. Okay. The interview has been posted. He's confirmed it twice. We even reiterated the question. You might want to check your facts. What's that? You might want to check your facts. We interviewed a member of your organization. Not this organization. Yeah. We don't have to talk to them. I know. Okay. okay. Do you also think it's God's plan for kids to get molested in the church? Silence speaks volumes, by the way. I didn't hear any of that. The interview doesn't lie. Can you ask a representative of the church to come and explain the interview? I would like a rebuttal. You guys have an opportunity to rebut the interview. Why are you guys wearing masks? Why aren't you? Okay, why does that matter when it comes to the molestation of children? Obviously you don't want us to see who you are. Okay. Yeah. That Maybe I fear the church because of what you guys yeah. condone. Yeah. We love on everybody. And that is I, uh, that's obvious from the interview. <laughs> you can twist it around. I'm not twisting. I'm, I'm, you're, you're stating you know, your version of fact. God bless you. God bless you. Right. So when you say that out of hate and spite, that's, you know, no, you're, you're doing I'm it wrong. Out of love. Okay.
but you don't want to defend your organization against the accusations. We had a whole hour-long interview with an individual. Nobody I know. Okay, God bless you guys. Uh -huh. We'll be here for the next service and for everyone coming out. We interviewed somebody who said that you guys support and that God, it's God's plan for kids to be molested. I'm glad you find that funny. That's good to know. Your laugh is being recorded. I'm glad that you laughed about that. So guys, remember Christianity as its whole is an organization. So the fact that that individual from Poway is not a member of this specific branch of that organization, we are not telling an untruths by sharing that it is a member of their organization that has the belief that it's God's plan for kids to suffer traumatic experiences such as abuse. Yep. Thank you. Yep. How you doing, man? Hi. Love the hat, love the jacket, everything. <laughs> Looking beautiful, man. Oh, thank you. Yep. Hi, yep. right, guys. What's up, man? How are you? Doing good. Brian. Brian? Brian. Brian? Yeah, what's going on? All right. Fun. We're, doing the video? It. We're doing an investigation today. On what? We did an interview with a member of your organization that said, you know, um, when asked about the topic of, you know, child molestation in churches, he uh -huh. said it is God's plan if that occurs. Uh, um, no, that's terrible. I, I thought that's so too. And, okay, and I thought so too, and that's why we're here um, to just kind of see if somebody, the interview's already been posted, it's an hour long video. Um, but we wanted to see if a member of your organization wanted to kind of offer a rebuttal to that information. Um, he was very insistent that, you know, he, we did an hour long video of God's plan and God's, you know, he, unwavering love and all the stuff. But then when we got to those topics, he said, it is absolutely God's plan if that occurs in the church. Well, so, and he confirmed it four separate times when asked the question in four different ways. I'll just ways. say that. I was going to say this. If this is, if that's true. It is true. I can show you the video. No, 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 no. Okay. If what he is saying is true, then, then your shirt is right. Yeah. They're oh, like, thank you. <laughs> right? I mean, yeah. come on, guys. Let's be real. Yeah. yeah I mean, he, that's exactly what he said. Four times he confirmed it in four different ways. So. Who was it? We can't disclose that. Um, he, he is on the video, but, uh, you know, it's something Definitely, just, it was, this is not something from this church. because From this organization. What organization? from Christianity. Okay, well, that's like the most broad thing ever. It, it might be, it might be, but but he's he's like the third interviewee that we've had that confirms similar things. And, and so- Where was this? So in California? Here, here. Okay, where is here? Orange County. Yikes. So well, you know, when, when we hear things like that multiple times from multiple different people from different areas, it concerns us I mean, you should be concerned yeah. if somebody's saying that. That's terrible. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. But yeah, that's, I mean, that's it, what that, we're left with at the moment. That's so. not what you're going to get if you if you go here. I mean, that's for sure. That's So, understanding that he answered the question like that, like, what would, like, what would you say when abuse happens in a church? Do you think that's part of God's plan? Because that seems to be the Absolutely confirmation not. across the board. Okay. Anytime I'm glad somebody to hear that. is anytime somebody is harmed, mm -hmm. that goes against who God is. I'm glad to hear that from you. From and I, I think that's true. How do I say this? Whether it's Judaism, Christianity, Islam, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure most people would say, "Yeah, no, that's not, that's not God." So it, when I've had these conversations with people, you know, uh, Catholic faith, and I mean, 
I've never got a confirmation. It's only the people that I've talked to within the Christian faith that have seemed to confirm this absurdity, and I just can't understand where it comes from. To be clear, Catholicism is a branch of Christianity. No, no, I get it. I know, I know, I know, no, no, yeah. But but it's, we, we haven't yet had somebody following that specific branch of Christianity um, confirm those kinds of things. And it's just, to me, there's something broken in the line of communication in churches happening. Maybe it needs to be course corrected, but that says, you know, that everybody says everything's God's plan. Everything's God's plan. And they repeat that, like, it, it becomes, you know, within all of their beliefs in their head and when asked the tough questions like that the, oh then it's god's plan it's so like, if you go kill somebody that's god's plan no that's ridiculous well i'm glad that you're you know <laughs> <I'm glad> you're... <laughs> <laughs> so my question is why you guys videotaping everything um, well, let me change that why were four cameras so we're just in, we're doing investigative actually five yeah we do investigative <laughs> <Six. yeah. laughs> Wait, there's got to be more. Have I missed one? <laughs> no, no, no. I actually forgot my body one today, too. So. Um, but no, we just do investigative um, journalism, you know, citizen journalism um, in regards to different things that we run into throughout our lives. Um, that is beautiful. I love that. Whatever's going on there. She goes here. That's badass. She goes here. That's a badass outfit. That's funny. But yeah, so I like your I mean, lanyard thing. Well, your keychain thing. Thank you. But do you understand my concern? Well, yeah. Okay. So, and, it, and it's not just one confirmation. It, you know, it's been several. And then this gentleman had reworded it four times to make sure I understood that that was his true, in his heart belief. To me, which is asinine. Like, I just... I mean, yeah. yeah. I agree. It's, so... Uh, that's a scary place to be. Yeah. A scary place. And so I actually talked to, I think he was the, uh, uh, there's the a volunteer reader, next door. The reader guy? Uh, the guy with the longer hair? Uh, maybe, I mean, there's a couple of different yeah, guys. Yeah. Usually he wears like a big Mickey hat. Oh, yeah, no, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't get that one. But, um, so I talked to one of them and he didn't want to comment on it, which is okay. He doesn't have to, but his only comment was, well, God loves on everybody. And I was like, well, you know, that shouldn't include kids. <laughs> I mean, but, yeah. <laughs> in that yeah. way. Um, and all I got was some laughing and smirking. I was like, well, you know, not having the conversation is almost as bad as telling us that that's what's going on. You know what I mean? Silence it, is death. Exactly. Right. And yeah. so refusing to have that conversation when the subject is brought up by a member of the Christian, you know, church, um, you think that a church would want to jump on being able to be like, oh, no, 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 no. He's wrong. Like, you think that they would do that. Like, you have. And I think you've done an amazing job here so far. It's about being so. human. It's yeah. being Christian or not. It's about being human. Yeah, I agree. So, yeah. But that's where we're at today. So we're going to be here all day, you know, um, or half the day. Um, but, yeah, we're going to just... That's a long day. It is. I'm just standing here. Oh, absolutely. We do it every day, though. <laughs> yeah. We, we travel the country doing uh, similar videos. And, you know, it's not all religious-based. Um, yeah. You know, we, we film life as it happens. And just based on conversations that we have with people, then we end up here, you know? So what's your purpose? Our purpose? Yeah. Just to raise awareness for various things. So in this instance, the awareness is for, you know, abuse within churches and how some parishioners seem to think that it's okay or it's God's plan. And it's just, it's a weird way of answering away that kind of abuse um, rather than taking a formal stance and be like, no, 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 <laughs> you know? And it's shocking how very few people like yourself have taken a formal stance against it when asked the question. Yeah. And Which to me, so, yeah, and so that's so bothersome. It's not This even funny. is a Methodist church. Yeah. I don't know if you know what that means at all. There's so like I've, I've learned a little right? bit about it. Yeah. So if you look, this is really kind of, it's kind of boring, but it is what it is. No, no, uh, sure. There's a, it's called the Book of Discipline. Yes. And it's kind of like... It's like our bylaws, let's say. Like it's it's yeah. got like, and it also has all of our stances. Okay. And so, if you were to look in there, I'm sure it says something about um, sexual abuse. I'm sure it says uh -huh. something about child molestation. It basically, says, yeah, no, that's not what God wants us to do. Yeah, like that's just, like I said, that's just being a good human. No, that's and that's <laughs> but, good. But yeah, I I don't know. And so, uh, do you have any a... other questions? No, no, not necessarily. I mean, there's a lady. Uh, I think it was like three weeks ago at the at a post office we were at. 
We weren't even engaging her. She just ran up, got in our face, and started anger praying at us. Good morning. Saying, Good morning. How are you? Good. Yeah, she was just telling us we're going to hell and we're demons and all this like anger praying at us. And she's actually a member of what because I remember. Because that's the way that you show love, right? Yeah. So she was actually, if I remember correctly, one of the reasons we're here at this church next door is because she was a member here. Okay. And she anger prayed, called us demons just for filming in public and exercising our rights to film in public. Um, and absolutely right. You know, well, so so we post the we post those interactions. And then it leads us down this long rabbit hole of ending up at the churches after having multiple encounters. And the one uh, two days ago disturbed me through my core. Yeah. And that's why I'm here today. It's just like, you know, um, and I understand it's not your fault. And it's not her fault. But, it, but it, in general, there's some kind of lack of education going on with per, uh, parishioners. If that is a common thread. I call it lack of. It's more like willful ignorance. Which, well, and, but that's almost as bad as the belief that it's okay yeah. at the end of the day. So, um, but for him to state that a child multiple times on the video, that a child being molested in the church is God's plan is morally exactly. reprehensible. Not in my church. <laughs> that's terrible. Thanks for clarifying that too. So, yeah, I like well, your reaction. Well, not to defend but, churches yeah. or anything. This is a particularly strange church, so it's kind of... We do our own thing. Yeah. Well, and these, you're, you're free to yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. Right. And this day and age, strange is better. Is gonna be like, oh yeah, that dude was totally right. No, no, no you're good. No. A lot of people call me strange for doing this, so strange is good nowadays, apparently. So, <laughs> you know. um, but I appreciate the conversation. Yeah. Um, you've been lovely, and you know yourself as well. You come in at ten o'clock. You'll hear things that you probably wouldn't. hear. You know, if I door. stepped in that doorway, I'd probably burn. To death. No, sure. <laughs> Said about me, and right. I was still <laughs> <laughs> all, right, all right, guys. Have a good one. You guys, be blessed. Have fun, guys. Yep. All right, guys. So that was a fun, informative, and very uncomfortable conversation. <laughs> but it has to be had. I mean, it, it, you know, I am challenging the conversation that I had the other day at the Pali Post Office. I am challenging the conversation I had in Irvine with the lady that anger prayed at me. I am challenging the exorcism that almost occurred at another Irvine post office where the older gentleman seemed to be performing an exorcism on me. Uh, I am challenging all this. That is why I'm here today. I am challenging this belief that uh, religion is the holy answer, the only answer, and that if it is not the answer, then you're going to hell. And I'm challenging all of that. Um, I do. I am excited that this gentleman refuted that just instantly. Um, and then the woman's response uh, that was kind of funny. You know, she's like, wait, what? <laughs> Blown away that that is a belief that somebody would hold. And so we're here to, you know, uh, further investigate, you know, what different churches might feel about these conversations. And it is important. Some people be like, why are you out in a church? This is why. we got to have these conversations. We have to, without these conversations, you have parishioners walking around thinking that, you know, what that guy thought on Poway. Uh, without these conversations, that's what you get. That's what you end up with without these conversations. So tell me why we shouldn't be here. Uh, I know some people who were molested, molested in the church. And one of the responses I got, well, Jesus wanted it to happen. That's Jesus' plan. It all happens for a reason. So I wanted to know your thoughts on something like that. I I don't know um, the, the, <laughs> the reasons for that. Okay. I just wanted your it, thoughts if, on something like that. If it like that. occurred, then it's you know, likely and possibly part of, part of God's uh, plan there. You know some people who were molested, molested in the church? And one of the responses I got, well, Jesus wanted it to happen. That's Jesus' plan. It all happens for a reason. So I wanted to know your thoughts on something like that. I I don't know um, the, the, <laughs> the reasons for that. Okay. I just wanted your it, thoughts if, on something like that. If it like that. occurred, then it's you know, likely and possibly part of, part of God's uh, plan there. I mean, okay. And in that statement, you don't see the perversion of that? 
I mean, you think it would be in God's right? plan for a kid to deal with trauma of being molested by somebody Absolutely. under the guise of religion? I mean, you think it would be in God's right? plan for a kid to deal with trauma of being molested by somebody Absolutely. under the guise of religion? We got the fuzz. Planning a fucking. The police are planning a uh, takedown. takedown, traffic takedown over here. So there's probably a spot where they're setting up. I want to go find it. Oh shit, he's set up right there. What is he doing there? He can't radar from where he's at. Or is he waiting? No? This is weird. Make it a shot of your cheek, sir. What happened? Make it a shot of your yeah. cheek, sir. Amen. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Oh, he's getting ready to go. What violation is he looking for though? Maybe texting? notice us until we were halfway out the driveway. Why is he stopping the traffic like that though? There's a lot of 10 speeds here. Damn, he's in a hurry. I like her license plate. This guy's bumping music for us. guys we're gonna uh, this cop's doing uh, some police checks here Sheesh. electric sk electric skateboards he's doing some uh, ticketing today this is a taxpayer robbery right here over minor infractions yeah He's leaving now though. He's leaving now. Yeah, he's leaving now. <laughs> he don't like us out here at all. <laughs> you just take public filming. You have a good day, man. <laughs> he turned around. He's like, "What the?" Dude, right when he turned around, and he saw us. He's like, "What the hell is going on?" <laughs> yeah. They're definitely about to close these blinds. She just motioned to the worker. So this is one exception, guys, where I have to get closer to the window. Um, 
I don't often get close to the windows, but because this is the only one with a broken blind, um, at this point, you know, um, they wanted to block me from being able to see in, which they're allowed to do, but I'm also allowed to find different angles. I can almost see myself in the top of his head. <laughs> Sorry guys, I had to. It kind of looked like <laughs> yeah, that's great. So I was laughing, guys. Um, I am obviously not in the bestest of shape. I'm getting better, actually. I've lost quite a bit of weight uh, since January. Um, I've never been, like, obese or large or anything like that. Um, I've just always been, you know, normal, average. Um, but I'm trying to get a little more fit. But it's funny, when we do the gyms, I'm like, bro, we're, we're going to piss people off that are way better shaped than us. <laughs> Got the basketball shoes on, ready to go. <laughs> she just looked like what the hell? <laughs> He's gonna hate me. He's playing Pokemon Go though, which is the funniest thing in the world that he's doing that while working out. Yeah. Oh, Willie! I can't with the three! Damn! <laughs> he is whole ass playing Pokemon Go while working out. That's actually kind of amazing. What happened? Do I have a permit? Yeah. Do I need a permit? For our location, yes. You need a permit? For our location, because you're recording our people without their permission. Wait, hold on. I got the permit from Jesus Christ. Yeah, I got the permit from the Bill of Rights. Bill of Rights? Yes. <laughs> Did you talk to Plot Security already? No. No. Go we'll talk to them real quick. They're over there looking for you guys. I'm actually not going to talk. If they're looking for me, they can find me. Okay. They can come here. Okay. Right now, bro, I'm letting you know right now, you're not allowed to film without my consent. I'm not so, consent. let me tell you that you're wrong on that because we're in public so, on a public yeah. sidewalk. Okay. I can film I anything I can see from public. Okay. But you have, you have my consent, though. You don't need to. You do. No, not if you're visible from public. If uh, we, visibly, that's not visible, bro. That's you're outside wrong. of public. That's private property. You're wrong. If I can see it, I'm allowed to film it. You can't trespass my eyes. You gotta look up the law and learn what you're talking about before you come out trying to enforce something that doesn't exist. You see, you guys have those on your windows to block us from being able to see. You guys have blinds, you have options to create your own privacy. So if you don't want us to see, just create your own privacy like you have. And security ain't gonna come talk to us, they know better. So here we go. You do not have the right They're to engage in free speech activity on private property. So this is private property. This, this is, is not a, private property. I'm in public so property. You're standing on public property. Brother. Hey, brother. So they're saying they can't film on public property. This is private property, right? Yeah. This yeah. is public sidewalk. So what you're saying? What, what on, private? Yes. Where's the private property? This whole facility is private. This is a public and you're sidewalk. From the inside, brother. Private starts right there. Understandable. Okay. So if you understand that, you might want to explain to him that I am on a public sidewalk. I'm allowed to film anywhere I want in public. It's protected by our Bill of Rights. Yeah. He doesn't understand that. And I can film anything I can see with my eyes. Yeah. But they are filming now inside a private property. You want to bet? Okay. Let's bet. A thousand dollars. I will pay you cash. A thousand dollars if you prove me wrong. But well, why are you guys? One thousand dollars. He's asking you a question. One thousand dollars. One thousand dollars. One thousand dollars. One thousand dollars. I don't have to answer his question. You, you want to bet? I can stand here and not talk to anybody if I if I want to. I don't have to answer his questions. He has no authority on this sidewalk. Do you have authority on a public sidewalk? Are you a law enforcement officer? Mm, yeah, I'm actually work. You here. are a law enforcement officer. No, no, I'm not. But I actually do work here, though. You work on the yeah. public sidewalk. I work around this whole facility. Okay. Yes. You work. You have a. You have law enforcement capabilities on this once public it's, sidewalk. Once it's right here, yeah. This okay, all our you are brother. misinformed. You might want to call the law, actual law enforcement since you're misrepresenting yourself as a law enforcement officer representing the public sidewalk. Which is illegal, That's actually unlawful that you just did that. And okay. I got a recording of it. That's cool. You have no authority on a public sidewalk. Right, Zero. Yeah. So Zero authority. Public. Yeah. Well, Zero why are you authority. guys recording inside? What's going on? I don't owe you an answer for that. Do I have to answer that? I was asked. Okay, you can ask. Yeah. 
doesn't mean you got the answer. Doesn't mean you got the answer, but I'm just asking why you guys record anyway. Because I want like to. Some documentary and shit. Because I want to. That's cool. Okay. That's cool. Yeah. You have no authority on a public sidewalk, just so you need clarification on that. Okay. Cool. So you might want to call law enforcement to clarify that for no, you. Well, yeah. It's okay. being they're being called. All right. All right. Cool. So you're dismissed if you. No, I'm not. Okay. You guys can be dismissed though. No. I'm not going nowhere. All right. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. There ain't shit you're gonna do about it. Yeah, all right. I guarantee you. Yeah, okay. Yep. Promise you that. Yeah, all right. You can't do shit. Yeah, you have right. no authority over okay. me. You think you do, okay. but you don't. Okay, cool. Weirdo. Why is it that you think, oh, I'm the weirdo. You're the yeah. one trying to enforce a law because you represent because yourself as job, a law brother. enforcement this official. Is my job. I have on a to. public I'm sidewalk, it is not. I'm just asking what you guys it are doing. It is not That's your it. job on That's a public sidewalk. Doing. Your job is, so is ends, that wrong that your I'm job ends you guys at this building. Yes. That was it. Yes, you have no authority here. How the fuck do I not? How do you have authority <laughs> on a public sidewalk? You can do whatever the fuck you want. I'm exactly. Not saying, I'm not saying that exactly. you can't do what you, you want. I'm just asking why here. you guys are doing this. That's you it. You can ask, but you, don't, you just said you had authority. That's it. You don't have authority I here. do when it comes down to my job. You do this not job, have brother. authority on this is a my public job. sidewalk. You're an this idiot. My job. You are an idiot. Yeah, right. Your job idiot is not a ass. public sidewalk. Yeah, idiot my ass. You are. You don't know yeah, the law. You don't even know your own job. Okay. I know your job better than you. Why is that? You want to bet? You sound stupid You want to bet? You don't. You want to bet? You don't. You think you have authority on a public sidewalk. All right. You don't. You don't. You look retarded. You don't. Down, this is not time. gonna go well for your employer. Okay. Yeah, all right. It it won't. Won't. It'll cause you your job. You're not allowed yeah, to cuss right. at people. You sure about that? You're not allowed to cuss at people. Yeah, okay. Sound dumb as shit. You're just crazy. Yeah, I know. Walk away. Walk away like you should have. Bro, you should have walked away ten minutes ago. He said we can't dismiss. Should have never walked up to us. Yeah, Dismissal right. completed. Dismissal completed. He dismissed himself. So he actually on video presented himself as law enforcement for a second. Are you a law enforcement officer? Mm, yeah. And that he has the authority to enforce laws on a public walkway, public sidewalk. Not true, not true. Ma'am, do you work for the same company he does, or is that a different company? Oh, they, um, their security is a different company. Oh, okay, for the building? Do you yeah. work for the building, too? Yeah. Okay, do you know why he thinks that he could have authority on a public sidewalk? Oh, That's weird to me. All right. All right, well, no, thank you. <laughs> I was just curious. Like your equipment. Thank you, thank you. I love it, too. That's good. This guy looks hella confused. No, he ran away. Hey guys, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. The police are? Oh, that nice. Are you guys making just videos for YouTube? Uh, no, Sorry. we we have no, no. You're fine. You're fine. No, no. You're fine. You're free to ask. We just do we do a bunch of different content. Hey, make them come to us. You're in my shot. You're in my way. <laughs> I bet you, you guys have fun, huh? Oh yeah, this is great. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> just make sure I'm not blocking the sidewalk. Huh? We can't. This is a legally protected activity by the First Amendment, so. He's all showing me away and start showing him away. <laughs> that was hella confusing for him. So guys, when he was showing me away, I was doing the same thing the whole time.
Keep it going. Keep it going. You can do it. Keep going. You can do it. Keep going. You got this. One more. One more. You got it. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Come on. You got this. Security. Well, that was my fault. Sorry about that, brother. That was my fault. Okay. You feel me? All right. I appreciate that. Yeah. Okay. That that's good. I'm glad you did that, and I appreciate it a lot. Um, no, but but like you said, hey. it was it is. You know. Yeah. yeah. I wanted to clarify. Uh, it upset me because of how he let, like, he kind of baited you to kind of be his representative. And I get that your job, but your job is within the walls of here. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you kind of let him bait you into something Bullshit. that honestly, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. And but, yeah. You got, but I think you were here last time. You have, you have a YouTube channel, right? We have a bunch of different platforms, but there's a whole bunch of us, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. so I don't know if it was me or... That was some other, okay. I think, or something like that. Probably. Yeah, but yeah. Yeah. But what I appreciate the apology. Yeah. Yeah. No problem, brother. Yeah. Time. Um, that, that, was, that was my fault. But yeah. Once it comes in between these. No, no, walls, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, and it I, is what it and is. we're not going on private property yeah, filming yeah. and doing that. We, I do this full time, so okay. I know I know what I'm doing. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is yeah. literally all I do. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, I, think, I think you were here last time. Uh, it could be. I, and, and a lot on of that side? Area, a, 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 a boutique area, I think. Oh, I don't know. It might, it might have been you. I don't know. I do this every day, seven days a week, so it could be an idea. No idea. But we do have other... Okay. There's about 15 of us in this area that do this, so... Yeah. yeah that's good. Yeah. You should do it too, man. How do you get in there? Bro. Honestly, you could just wear a body cam and post your interactions with people. Oh, the lady. <laughs> She's so nice to us. Is she on you? <laughs> what? Yeah! Yeah, we good. <laughs> <laughs> We cool. <laughs> we gonna need your assistance. <laughs> All right. That's funny. That's good that she checked up on you. She's actually yeah. super friendly to us. It was just funny. It was a little contrary to how you were at first, but you know. Mm -hmm. um, but no, she's she was like she's like I don't think he understands. He just stepped in it. Stepped <laughs> yeah. in line of fire, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this is it, man. Like, oh, damn. <laughs> so I, who did you call? Was it your boss or? Yeah. And well, it was, it was my boss, and then. You, like she said, yeah. I can't do this. Yeah, yeah. No, you're good. You're Once good. it's behind, if it's behind these walls, yep. inside this facility, yeah. yeah, then it's all ball. Absolutely. It's all ball game. Absolutely. But when it's come down here, like, ah, shit, I walk the premises all day long. Absolutely. But once you guys. So you can walk it, you just don't have authority on this section. So, but now you know that. Crappy, yeah. And now when now you start your videos, you yeah. can start. <laughs> I can do what the hell I want to do. Man. Crappy, dude. Hey, you start going One day you can come here and do the same thing. <laughs> That'd be one way to quit your job too. Just be like, hey guys. <laughs> All right, guys. That was a bizarre turnaround and twist of events. So, uh, talking to that security guard, um, I did turn off the camera for part of the conversation because I was actually sharing some personal information with him. Um, and we're gonna link up. He's a struggling single father. And I'm going to try to message, uh, message him and we're going to link up and we might have somebody else starting to do what we do out here on Thursday and Friday um, just to give it a try, see if he likes it. And if we, if we total turnaround, by the way, beyond me that it turned out that way. That was amazing. What happened? What happened? Oh, not in public. <laughs> Uh, oh, no, no, you're good, you're good. You have a last day, man. No loitering or trespassing. No skateboarding and no rollerblading or bicycling. As he's bicycling. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're here in Orange County. Having a great day. Beautiful weather. Is that her right there? Wait, what? You guys came to Malarkey's and got my friend in trouble. No, he, wait, hold on. Trouble. You're talking about the man who assaulted us? 
I, I'm, I don't know what happened, but anyway. Okay, well, we are don't filming film you. Me. We are no. filming you. There's nothing you can do about it. You mean the man who got himself fired by... He got himself fired. I don't, I don't know. We're also suing the restaurant. Good. I and him. I hope you win. And him. We will. Damn, that was a hell of an update. Dang. So I guess he got fired for it. Cheese. No wonder we didn't sell that That was a surprise update. Okay. No, not that one. Malarkey's in Newport. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Hold on. I can't hear you. You're very loud, nice car, by the way. What's that? No, no, we're just doing, we do uh, videos, film in public, you know, uh, see how people respond to public filming. I love the car. I actually heard you drive by earlier, and that shit was loud yeah, as fuck. Yeah, I just drove by. Yeah. I was like, what's going on? You have a wonderful day, man. Be safe. Enjoy this thing, man. Look at this Tesla. I actually like that one. What the hell? Did you hear that? So there's a speaker right here that's saying actions in this parking lot are being recorded. That's crazy. No, it's not. That's not Long Beach. Long Beach is studying. Who is this? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. He had the gloves on, everything, the whole outfit. Even the cable, even the cable from the battery pack sticking away from it. What the hell? There's one. That's it. <laughs> Just taking some video. <laughs> what are you guys filming for? I oh, was taking some video. What's that? <laughs> How you doing, man? Good. This guy keeps taking our video and picture. It was very nice of in and out to give the uh, woman a free glass of water. Got him sucking on it right there.
Uh, oh, we're just taking a video of everybody today. Oh, okay. Yeah, lots of fun. Do you have a comment? Huh? You want to say hi or? No, no, no. I'm good. Yeah? yeah. All right. They have blocked this entire sidewalk here, guys. Good, good. So yeah, guys, they have the line goes through the intersection here, is continued there. They obstruct the entire sidewalk. There's no obvious use of any bike lane here. That's crazy. Oh, hey, this guy's enjoying his lunch right here. Okay. guy at the front that was giving us a cam bag a little bit. Anything interesting over there? Uh, it's more fun over here if you want to come through. I think we spotted the guy. You guys have a good day, man. Be blessed. The camera, the camera. Be blessed, my friend. <laughs> Of a situation with a customer where he was angry. I know if you Wait, guys what happened? A, he was angry that you guys were out here. Um, but I know you guys have the right to be here, right? Just letting you know that you probably are gonna be making customers feel uncomfortable and just be aware that this is a traffic area. I don't want anyone to get hurt, especially well, you guys. Okay? So, on that note, are yeah. you guys aware that you guys are completely blocking the sidewalk as well? Yes, we are. Okay, and you're just okay with it? You don't have someone here to help kind of leave this open? I've had pedestrians had to walk in the street. I've had bicycles that can't use the bike lane. They okay. they can't use the sidewalk either. Yeah, I'll, so I'll let management know that we're. Well, we're it's not be a management it. problem. You should have an employee here helping direct people out of the sidewalk because they're blocking pedestrian paths here. Okay. And then when you mentioned somebody yelled at you over us filming. I'm sure it yelled at us instead of me. I know, but you know, I'm just trying to. Okay. All right. Well, I know you guys I have a right to be okay. here, okay? But right. just letting you guys know, um, just be careful out here. I don't want you guys to get hurt, okay? All right. All right? No, I know you guys I'm, have a right to I'm be here. I'm more worried so. about the people that are trying to use the sidewalk that can't. Okay. You got yeah. it. I'll All make right. it aware. Thank you. All right. And, you know, the obesity problem in America with these fast food burgers, you know. Don't get hit by the cars. <laughs> you realize that there's no way that that's gonna happen, right? Oh, you're saying it's my man. What happened? Turn that camera off if you want to talk. I don't need a camera. That camera off to talk. You can talk. Why, okay, why would you want a nine to five job? Explain that to me. Why do you want to be a slave school. to somebody else? School. I have stuff to pay for. Okay. 
All right, well, I'm retired. I retired four years ago. All right, fun life. So why would I want a nine to five? I just took my whole family on a two week trip across the country. That's a slave mentality. You gotta got get rid of that. Trust me, you're better than that. We're hiring, you want to work for this? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we're hiring, you want to work for this? You guys go around harass the people for more Have I harassed anybody? I haven't talked to anybody that hasn't approached us first. So explain, explain that. You want to accuse that. What is she doing? How are you? How you doing? looking for exactly she's still sitting here again look at that line for in and out guys <laughs> If anyone lives in this neighborhood and needs to turn right right there, that sucks. Yeah. That's random. All right, guys, we moved over to another part of Costa Mesa area. There is SoCal Transparency as we speak. Um, we are at uh, like a little bit of a restaurant row, kind of. It is spread out, so we are going to get our steps in today. But we are going to have the opportunity to meet some cool people, hopefully, and yeah, we'll go from there. There's one of them right there. Literally, she's right there. There's one of them. Man, that part is near the coat. Spark How's it going? Uh, I don't know if you're capturing any media, but I don't consent to be used my life. You don't so I don't need I, your consent. No? No, nope, no, not in public. Interesting. Come on, well, you're in public. Have a great day. And you're visible from public. Yeah, but this is still weird. You're weird. What are you talking about? Try some different pants. Those are weird. You want to start name calling? Poison. That's bummer. Sorry you feel that too. I like his truck. He was yelling stuff until I put a camera on him. This kid was yelling at us until I put a camera on him. Is this like one of those child predators? No?
it's a weird thing for that guy to think. And he's turning around. Looking for creeps like you, apparently. Why would you think about child predators? That's a weird thing. Why is that in your mind? Well, why is, hold on, why is that in your them. mind? And why is that the first thing you think about when you see people with cameras? That's weird, man. You hey, you need therapy, brother. Go to therapy before you do something against the law. I got your license plate just to make sure. Dude, my I'm thinking about weird shit. You might need a lawyer later. Says who? Why would you bring him in public if you don't want him on camera? You want to bet? Yes, I do. I'll bet you one thousand dollars that I'm not doing anything unlawful. I'm sure you're not, but I'm asking you not to film my children. I'm actually filming you. That's fine. Okay. Nobody tells me how to dress. Yeah, so. Might as well ask him. Oh, yeah, okay. Cool. That's fine. Enjoy. Thank you, Ruby. They have this set up just like a zoo. did their uh, Tesla orange. I like it. <laughs> you guys have a good one. Be safe. You guys are beautiful. You guys, are, you guys are gorgeous. Thank Have you. a wonderful day. Thanks, man. You yep. too. Stay safe, guys. Absolutely. There's Barbie. Hold on. All right, guys. What the hell is that? Somebody comment down below what that is. It looks really fun. To us. Yeah, go Wedge Burger! <laughs> You might have a day. Why this business though? What, what happened? Business? Why this business? We do all of them. Okay. It's nothing specific. Okay. How are you doing today? It was actually pretty good today, I can't lie. 
Did you have any other questions? No. Alright. You almost thought of one. I just read your shirt. I don't, oh, okay. I don't know. <laughs> Does he have a shirt to read? They all say the same thing. Oh. Well, you have a wonderful day. You too, man. I love your hair. Thanks. I'm just not trying to get a crack. Oh, you're good. You're good. Nick just laughed at that dude. Because you said you like his hair. I was like, oh, what hair? <laughs> We're getting a handbag. And inadvertently, now he's filming them also. First handbag. Right, that's a first story. Right? Android came back in a while. I love that wearing mask. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so cool. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Get another cam back. Is that an iPhone one now? Yep, that is an iPhone. Nice. I can see myself in it. Um, can I have you guys not film our guests? Yeah, I'm not even asking. Can I have you not film the guests? I'm sorry, I can't abide by that request. Perfect. Okay. All right. Okay. You have to get our permission to film no. us. You're misinformed. We're in COVID. What are you oh, filming for? I'm not going to answer that. I, I forgot. <laughs> Why don't you show your face? That's awesome. We live in a free country. Did yes, you forget? We do, friend. Yes, okay. we do. Did you forget? Yeah. All right. Why don't you identify yourself? Did you forget we live in a free nation? My name is George Clooney. I didn't realize we have to identify each other. Why not? Because we live in a free country. We're not in a free country. Kind of. We're trying to be. We're not in a free country. We're pretty close. <laughs> I still have rights. Yes, we all do. Yep. And I'm exercising mine. He's exercising his. Everybody's happy. Everybody's exercising their rights. Don't forget to get my fish in the camera. Absolutely. I'm getting all the close-ups. Really good. Absolutely. You got a good bite to chew ratio. It's good. <laughs> I love that. Sorry if our rights are uncomfortable for you guys. No, we're just trying to enjoy our lunch. So am I. I'm also trying to enjoy That's not life. private. Why would you sit outside? Life. That's not private. I have one and I love it. That's not private. If you want privacy, go inside. I also want to enjoy your lunch. I've got my 80 year old fucking mother in law here. Go fuck off. So is she exempt from fuck American you. rights? Is she exempt from our American rights? All right. This is what our fucking taxes are paid for, loser. Wow. We are getting paid by the government. I do like so the puppy cute. though. Look at that puppy. Where did he come from? That's a cute puppy. Where's but it's also another puppy going inside a restaurant, which I find <laughs> reprehensible. Oh, yeah, it's, it's so <laughs> Jesus, Jesus is the only answer. No. Okay, ex explain that to me, please. The answer to what? These customers should be happy. We always get them free discounts or free free items and discounts. So I think she just gave them a discount off their order. So they should be happy about us being here because we just saved them a ton of money by switching to Geico. Beautiful. That is gorgeous. Luis said that's the car he's buying me when he gets rich. But he's going into the restaurant. Another dog in the restaurant. Yep, and that's why they shouldn't be in the restaurant. Right there. Right there. <laughs> Guys, wouldn't it be okay to start bringing your nasty ass dogs into restaurants where we eat food? They're not therapy dogs. 
All right? We got to chill out with that shit. I don't want to eat dog hair in my in my uh, pizza or whatever the hell I'm eating. Are you guys filming for something? What's that? Are you guys filming for something? Yes. Oh, okay. Like, were you guys filming me? Yes. Why? We film everybody. We film life as it happens. Anybody we run into. Okay. Nothing nefarious. We're just filming everybody. Okay. Experiencing different people. You were filming us too on FaceTime, whatever you were on. No, you're good. You're good. Uh, you know, sometimes rights can be uncomfortable and that's okay. But I'm glad you asked. We're not doing anything nefarious. My name's Mike. We're just filming life as it happens. Okay. You're going to be famous by tomorrow morning, which is good though. Uh, I'd rather not. <laughs> but you, you don't have a choice. We, we already filmed you. You're already out in public. and yeah. But I appreciate it. You've been nothing but kind. So, yeah, All right. Call. You have a wonderful okay. day. Drive safe, okay? You guys are beautiful. <laughs> Hello. How are you doing? We're just taking some video. Huh? We're just taking video. Video of what? Of you. Oh, good. And everybody. All right. Good. Oh, there you go. They want to do it. One, two, three, four of them. Yeah. Four cameras, man. Five I feel, cameras. I feel, I feel like a celebrity now. Absolutely. You're beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day, man. You too. Is this your restaurant? Or? Yes, yes. You work here? I own it. You own it? Yes. Nice, nice. Congratulations, man. Thank you, thank you. How, how, Don't uh, talk to them. Don't talk to them. We're having not? a good conversation, you dumbass. Why not? Why not? What the hell? Because I'm being nice. Because you, you think religious poison? So that's only my opinion. Uh, I'm, I'm, so I don't. You are free to have to your opinion. Yes. Just America. I respect. You can do whatever you want. I respect all faiths. I just I choose not to. And so it's not that I'm against faiths. It's just I'm against organized religion. I, I disagree with a lot of how people who are part of the you know big churches how they treat people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. And you believe in God, right? Uh, I am agnostic, so I believe that I haven't yet answered that question nice, yeah. in a lot of ways. You come up, you come up. Well, sooner or later, you, you will find out that there's a Maybe. creator. Because nothing, everything needs to be created by something. Yeah. That car, that camera, that things that you hold, everything is, is created by somebody, right? Yeah. So how Maybe. can we say that this huge universe just came up with nothing? Right? It it's must, a lot of unanswered must questions. Have, must have a creator. It's a lot of unanswered questions, I gotta admit. But sometimes, have you ever thought or, uh, you know, uh, pondered on the fact that maybe because we don't know the actual answers, that no, we, we, know. That we, we have established know. that religion is a thing and no, that there's we, a God? No, has to be a completely mindless person to think that things come out of nothing. Right. Because nothing can create nothing. Yeah. So there must be something. That must is a god. Possibly. That's it. Good luck. You have a wonderful Take day. Take care, my friend. Absolutely. Hey, how good are the pancakes? The best in the world. Are the pancakes good? The best in the world. Perfect. Yes, sir. I might have to try one later because I love pancakes. <laughs> What's your name? Mike. Mike. Come on, I might be in later today. What time do you close? I'm leaving. Oh, you're closing now? No, no, we're close at 10 o'clock. 10? I might Maybe come later than for dinner. I might. Yeah. All right, thank you. How you doing? Doing good. How about yourself? Wonderful. Is there something I can help you guys with today? No, I'm good. Yeah. Not at the moment. Okay. No problem. All right. Well, if you guys need anything, let me know. I will do that. Have a good day. Yeah, beautiful Mustang right there. Dude, like, oh wait, I thought you were with them. I'm like, no. I'm going locked in on these niggas. I'm like, <laughs> no, no. I pray for you guys. I pray for y'all. I pray for y'all.
Hey, who's that on the back of your screen? Hold on. Turn right back around. She has a very red and a very white outfit all at the same time. We're filming you at the moment. Why? We do public photography. Making this really yeah, uncomfortable. Makes me really uncomfortable. I'm sorry, I have no control over how you're feeling, but I appreciate it. What's that? Are you guys recording for them or what's going on? We're not recording for them, but we are recording of them. Oh, okay. I was just asking because the customers are getting kind of uncomfortable. And I can't help them with their comfort. That's a different kind of conversation we would have to have with them. Right. I was just asking. I just wanted yeah. to know what's going on. We're just doing some filming. Nick, go. Okay. All right. Well, Nick, go. Hurry. Buddy? I don't know what's going on. Well, what are you holding the phone for? I don't know. It, it just kind of showed up here. You're taking a picture of me? No, I, I'm taking video. Put it down now. No. Now. No. Put it down. Nope. What are you doing? I don't know. Tell me what you're doing. I can't do that because I don't know what I'm doing. If you don't know what you're doing. You no. know damn well what you're doing. No, I don't. No, you do. No, I don't. Okay. We're going to be taking care of business here pretty soon. What does that mean? Calling the police? The They're going to educate you. He's the Antichrist. Right there. He's the Antichrist. What are they saying? Oh, uh, what are you doing? You have to tell me what you're doing. Like, I don't know what Send I'm doing. No. Cowards. We're, we're, do we not live in a free nation? You're free to practice and preach your religion at me, but I'm not free to practice my freedom of expression and speech. What are, what are you expressing? I'd like to know. You haven't asked. You, all you've done is shoo us away and... No, I'm not right. shooing you away. You did. I'm asking you a question. You did not shoo him away? What are you doing? No, you don't, I'm not shooing him away. You don't want to actually did. have the conversation. That's Let's the problem. Have the conversation. You're halfway in the door. Here, have the conversation. Okay, there's so, four of you. There's only so what is your question? We're not going to hurt you. What are you talking about? All right. You, all you can do is kill me. Well, I wouldn't do any of that on camera, so that'd be weird for me to have all these cameras. Okay, let's, okay. Have, a, let's have a discussion. What's the discussion? What is your question? My question is, what's going on? I don't know. I just, this is unusual. You, you're asking respectfully, so I'm going to open up to you a little bit. We do what's called First Amendment auditing. Have you heard of that? No. Okay. We exercise our First Amendment right, freedom okay. of expression, freedom I, of speech, okay. freedom of religion, the, 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 all of it, like the freedom of press. I mean, it just goes on. We exercise those rights because if you don't exercise your rights, they slowly get chipped and taken away from us. I agree with that. Okay, so that's what we are here doing while also reminding people that everywhere you go in public now, you are constantly being filmed in public. Okay. And if you want, expect, and demand privacy while you are out in public, the responsibility is on you to create the privacy that you want. It's not on me to create your privacy. And that's, hence this, this is how we teach people, through shock and awe. If I stuck the camera on the tree, nobody would notice all day. They'd pass it, nobody would notice the camera was there. Okay. Because they're used to that. This is the way to have that conversation and engage in that conversation. Okay. So, all right. I, I'm sorry, guys, but it's just, and I know what you're saying, and I'm, I. So what's not connecting for you? No, uh, talk no, to me. I mean, what's, what's not connecting to the, oh. I understand that, and I'm all for that. Okay. Okay. So if that's all this is about, that's literally all and, it's about. And now I've stepped into the hornet's nest, and so and you've got four cameras on me. Six. Lord only knows Seven. where it's gonna go. Six. Yeah. 
And so, well, no, this, this part of the conversation has been wonderful. So um, the conversation you had with him, because I could see it on my screen here, was not so wonderful. But no, I just, I mean, it's frightening. Okay, so F from my right. perspective. Okay, and it, and you're right. No, no, and you're right. It's so perspective, terrible. perspective matters. So and each mean, individual person perceives something different. Okay. Um, Ninety percent of people that run into us, they take selfies with us, they laugh, or they have a good time with us. It's only a small percentage of people that feel frightened or uh, well, uncomfortable. I'm just one. Nothing. Okay. I've got no power. Right. And so when I exercise my freedom of religion, which is ag not being agnostic and having a belief that organized religion is very cruel in a lot of cases. Oh, man. Um, You're right. And I then so when you, when, you, when you do the Holy too. Mary at me, that's kind of like anger praying at me. Well, that you're no, doing I mean, that's wrong. not knowing what's out okay, on the other so, side. I don't yeah. know. No, no. Hey, we're having a good conversation, so yeah, it's going really fine. well. I just... No, no, she's fine. She can take a picture. I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll, we'll pose. Her. We'll she pose. Put it on your I'd Facebook. Like to go. I'd like to go. Okay. All right. Go. Uh, what was your name? That's fair. My name is Joe. My name is Mike. Mike. I'm glad we had a follow-up conversation. And yeah. And whether or not you and walk away. Don't take offense. No, no, I'm not offended. I don't get offended. If I, I do this for a living, there's no way I can get offended. I, because I hear you loud and clear. Yep. We've got more garbage going on. And believe me, I have several atheist friends and you know we just agree to disagree yeah, absolutely and I know I mean so I respect so. people of faith a lot my problem isn't people of faith well, of I, whatever religion um, I do have a problem with organized religion in a lot of ways yeah. um, I had a conversation a one-hour conversation two days ago that we just published the whole interview with a member of a large church who insisted four separate times, we asked the question four different ways to make sure we were hearing it right. He insisted that uh, sexual abuse of kids in, in church is something that is a, it was God's God's plan. And he kept insisting on it and we kept asking it again. And so it's, it's big giant congregations that seem to gloss over these very important subjects. I'm reading you loud and clear. Okay. What I really appreciate with you guys is I haven't heard a cuss word out of you. Absolutely. And I hear respect. So I'm sorry for reacting the way I did, it's but I see the upside down cross and it's like, wait a minute. You know, that's so this isn't so, necessarily a disrespect towards religion. It's a challenge so that yeah, we yeah, can yeah. have conversations about your faith. And it's right. not it's not that I want to so, shit on your faith. It's you know yeah, it's just you. that I want to have that conversation. So we will go just a minute. Okay, fine. All right. Okay, you have guys. a wonderful day, buddy. All right. All right. You Take guys care. be safe. Have a good night and uh, be blessed. Be blessed. But thank you for the conversation. Okay. You seem like a very wonderful person. Well, I don't know about that. Man. Uh, you try. I'm, I'm just effort. Trying. Effort is 100 percent of everything. I'm still here, and I believe there's a reason. And I don't know. I should not be here. I should. Have hey, there's gone. a lot of us that have I gone. Should have been gone long, yeah. long ago. And there's a lot of us that have shared a similar path. Okay. Again, I didn't mean any offense. I You're just, good. Yeah. You're good. When I see black and... You got to imagine that I do this full time. You got to imagine that it's really hard to offend me. <laughs> or for me to take something personal now. She's, she's in there yeah. trying to say we're going to distort what he's saying. We just post raw clips. So I see in your eyes, I actually see basically the eyes are the yes. windows to the heart. I, I see I see heart. So, no, just, absolutely. So this is my well, oldest. I thank this, you for not attacking me. I oh, thank yeah. you for not cussing me out. Yeah, of course. So and this is actually my oldest son, and this is my youngest son. Really? Yep. Yeah, and the, the only reason How I cool say I, I don't know and what I'm doing we is... We just got back from Florida. We travel the country yeah. once a month where we do the same kind of performance, you know, of, of ed, you know, educating okay. people on our rights, educating them on the right, uh, you know, lack of privacy and, you know, everything else yeah, and yeah, always yeah. being filmed. Um, so we get to travel the country as a family together. My wife comes with us. The dog comes with us. We have a lot of fun. Yeah. And what better time? You know, I'm 45 years old. I got to retire early thanks to my kids because they actually put in a lot of work to help run my company the last few, the last four years. Um, and now I get to spend time while I'm still young enough to do it with my kids while they're young enough to, you know, do it as well. And 
you know, we have fun, you know? We would spend a lot of time together. Okay, all right guys. You guys be blessed, have a wonderful day. The puppy's gonna be a star. Hi puppy. How you doing today? Hi. How you doing? Good, good, good. Hey, does that thing like stabilize shit for you? Um, the whole thing, yes, a like lot. If you're walking, like shaking, like if because of the weight of it, yeah. it absolutely does. So this is the more the more higher end ones. Um, the cheap ones are plastic, not so much, but this one, it's a very weighted. It's very good. Are you honking at the cop? No. <laughs> no, they're honking at you. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Um, but yeah. We get stable shots, and then we also have the newest phones. So they they come with gimbal stabilization now. Oh. So even if I'm running, it looks like a movie. It's crazy. The the technology that. Yeah, 15 Max Pro. But yeah, thanks for asking. No, I uh, snowboarding is a little choppy, so I was thinking. Uh, for some kind of fucking driver. Do you use the GoPro or? No, it freezes up too much. It does. It does. The GoPro. But so the phone works, but the phone gets all. So the iPhone 15 has action stabilization, uh, the 15 Pro Max. Action stabilization, it makes all the difference in the world. But then uh, have you tried the 360, the Insta 360? Uh -huh. That one's really good. So I ride too, Harleys and uh, yeah. street bikes. Um, the stabilization of the Insta 360 is amazing. So it just really depends on what you want to carry around on you, I guess. But appreciate it. You guys getting hassled too much? Uh, a couple times. They The, the restaurant started to. Um, but then we had a really good talk with one of them. It lasted for like 30 minutes, <laughs> so it was really good. Um, but yeah, no, no, we've been nobody's really been hassling us today, and you know we try not to hassle anybody else. So what's the uh, what's the point of being there at Cava's? Something special to Cava? at Cava's? Which one was Cava's? Oh, right here. This one, yeah. Oh, we just we do just everywhere, here. everywhere. Yeah. yeah. So right. yeah. All right. Did they call on us? No, nah, we had a 911 uh, no voice contact, so like a cell phone butt dial. So maybe somebody there. Oh shit! But, All right. Yeah. Well, all right. I, well, I apologize if you got calls today. No, no, no I, I don't care, dude. Just stay yeah. on the sidewalk, stay where you're oh, Absolutely. To be. You're on, you're absolutely. We always do. So, I appreciate it. Yeah, What's your name? About you guys, so. What's your name? Kevin. Uh, my name's Mike. Nice. I appreciate it. Yeah, so. You've been professional. Love it. Awesome. Your department's been good as a whole, so. All right. Cool. Good day. All right. You have a wonderful day, buddy. All right. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. I got it. Yep. <laughs> all right, guys. All right, guys, we are going to tie up the day here at beautiful Costa Mesa. Um, you got a couple, you got a butt dial at the end, so you came by and checked us out. Um, but no, super friendly, uh, professional, that's the way we like it. Um, but yeah, Costa Mesa, Orange County, guys, uh, thanks for watching today. Um, we had a lot of fun on this one. All he wants to do is say hi to people. Hi, gorgeous. Hi, gorgeous. Oh, oh shit. Uh -oh. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <That's okay>. Hi. <laughs> hi, hi, gorgeous. How long have you had her? Uh, eight years. Oh, well, wow. We got her when right. she was a year old. Oh, I did get some water on her. <laughs> sorry. Oh, <it's> okay. <laughs> she probably uh, felt good. <laughs> she's just nine now. My wife got her the pearl collar so that people aren't as freaked out because she's a little kid man absolutely so many times people look at her and they're like oh they either love her or they're terrified i got you should be more afraid of me biting you than yeah <laughs> and people don't understand that don't like kids look aggressive but 99 percent of them are the softest you know there's a reason you know, they were called the nanny dogs there's like five other dog breeds that and it's not their fault either oh but yeah like so pitas and huskies yeah. shepherds chows so I learned that there's more reported bites from golden retrievers and Labradors than pits. She got attacked by two goldens. And Crazy. She, and she got 18 stitches right around here from a, a black lab. Jesus. And then she got chased by a little chihuahua. <laughs> oh. And, oh, and it, the, the part that we hate is the people that don't keep their dogs on a leash. No, oh, absolutely. Um, absolutely. It's always the off-leash dog that yep. comes up. Yep. And then it starts it. And then and that, that's how the lab got on her. There was a dog off leash around him. He got all freaked out. When my wife and Molly walked by, he just lunged at her and he got her, her head in his mouth. We had to hold her head like this so we couldn't shake it. 
And then Cindy finally had to reach up and pull his back end to let him make it stop. Yeah, I would have, I would have punched that dog you know. in the skull. <laughs> but she's just Hi, like me. you're so gorgeous. Anyways, I like what you guys are doing. You know, I got to tell you, growing up, an old Catholic kid. Yep. You didn't have an idea what you were doing. You were just told to go there. Yeah. And if people would just work on the fact of how about you just treat somebody correctly. No, absolutely. Get back to that a little bit more than all these religions. Yeah. They control everybody. And that's what keeps the wars going. And that's what, yeah. if everybody stopped killing each other and blowing stuff up. In the name of religion in a lot of cases. I, I know. Yeah. I mean, what good is blowing up the whole territory, dude, when if you're going to take it over, you got to rebuild it. Yeah. So you had to blow it to nothing. Now that costs even more. How about taking all that money and make some kind of desal plant and put water somewhere where you can grow food for people? Absolutely. I don't know. It's a crazy idea. Yeah. Because even though we have our aircraft carriers, they can still get blown up. That, I mean, eventually something's out there they can do it. And how much they cost? Billions and billions? Every great nation in history has fallen. And it's, so. it's never going to change until people stop. You can't take over anything anymore. Yeah. If you want someone to come live in your, in your country, make it good enough so they want to come over. And then let them come in. It's like, what we don't like is that nobody should go to bed hungry. Oh, absolutely. Nobody's sleeping on the street. Absolutely. We have so, like... The government could write a blank check tomorrow and solve homelessness and i know it's not the perfect solution but at the end of the day we every person on this planet deserves a place to sleep and food in their belly every day we saw an older lady walking down the street hunched over her back something's yep. really wrong with her but where's her family and why is this poor lady having to walk miles yep. on a street that's got no water i mean if she was thirsty yep. how's she gonna get it and we ne when I was a kid, we didn't let anybody on the street that was having a real mental problem. They picked them up and they took them somewhere and they took care of them. But they don't anymore. And that nobody wants to have to go someplace. But when you're that spun out, you need some help. Yeah. Somewhere. Absolutely, like, man. I don't know. Absolutely. If you guys can make it better, hats off to you. You know, little chips at a time, right? Rome wasn't built in a day, remember? Absolutely. <laughs> they need more dogs. Uh, yeah. <laughs> if you got a dog, you learn how to start taking care of other uh, things besides yourself. Okay, mama. Say bye-bye. We're waiting on my wife to come out of the store. She knows when <laughs> Cindy comes out, there's going to be a roast beef tree. Nice, nice. <laughs> hey, you have a good day, man. Appreciate it. Bye. Hey. Don't move, don't move. Roll your window down. Uh, Who did it? Hey, I'm gonna get the back of your head, buddy. Just be careful, okay? I'm gonna lay your head down. I'm gonna lay your head down. Alright? I'm just setting your helmet. I'm gonna right put here. your glove right here. Alright, I need you to I need you to put your leg I need you to put your leg down. Okay. Uh, the car? Um, I parked it. Hey, don't move, please. Stop moving. Please stop moving. Do you Hey, go to the business, get rags, now. Brother, my name is Jack, okay? I have your phone on me, okay? I'm not going to let it leave with me, it's going to leave with you. I'm going to have paramedics come, they're going to have your phone, okay? Okay, is there anybody that I need to call? Yes, just don't, just... Is there, is there anybody I have to call? Are you sure? Wait. I'm going to power your phone off because it's at 27%, okay? You can power it on when you need to make a call, okay? I don't want it to die on me, okay? Hey. No, no, it's fine. Lift your hand. 
hold that. Hold, hold this. Just hold it. Hold it. Don't move it. Don't play with it. Just hold it. Okay. I'm gonna power his phone off so that. So guys, this happened right in front of us. Um, this is why I stopped riding, guys, and it sucks. Do you guys have ID? Identification? Yes. Do you have identification? Okay, who else? Who else is driving? Okay, so just one car? Yeah, this car. Yeah. Alright, oh, we're going to have everybody scoot back and fire the car up here. Are you involved? It would be fine as well. Okay, we need backup right here. Okay. Yeah. Hold on, turn your wheel left first. <laughs> A little more left, buddy. I, I told him I'm going to stay with him and film That's everything. Fine. Okay. You can film, but I need you to back up over there. I'm actually the one that helped him out of his gear. and Okay. Yeah. Uh, state your phone number real quick so I can make sure to send you all this. How you doing, brother? Uh, no, I was first on scene. I helped get his fingers. Trevor was missing a couple fingers. Um, he, uh, I got him out of his helmet and everything. I rolled him out from under the car. He was actually underneath the minivan. Um, so, so he just slid under and against. He wasn't all the way pinned. So I just kind of pulled him away. This car pulled out in front of him when he was coming down the road. They didn't. They didn't look. Um, it happened right in front of us. We were at the McDonald's. We just finished getting our drinks and. Are you guys? No, so I'm right. behind that car. I'm helping them right now with the Because I saw a car. Thank you so much. Oh, it can be cold. By the way, it's just on the sidewalk for me. Thank you, sir. He did pull out. Regardless, they pulled out. They were pulling slowly out of a place. Okay. And All right. going fast. You're, you're ripped by, like, okay. I'm all for bikes, but you're ripped by. I know. Regardless. Thankfully, there's cameras right there, so they'll get it. Everybody's allowed to have their own perspective, so. So they're gonna have to pull cameras right here, guys. Stop the motorcycle. They didn't pull out. Alright. Uh, yeah. I think it might be hers. She wasn't involved in the accident, though. Yeah. I'm going to step up with a little bit more. I'm going to get this. I still have the key. I still have his phone, right? Or no, I left it on his chest. Okay. They don't have a license either? No. Damn, unlicensed too. That's a shame. It shouldn't be on the road. 
It doesn't matter. You shouldn't be driving on the road. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. It's not judgmental. It's not judgmental. You just shouldn't be on the road without a license. Yeah. Okay, we watched too. it happen too. What are you talking about? Okay. We were assisting too. Why are you berating us? Why are you filming? This guy is filming me directly. So are we now. Because okay. you're, you're we literally watched the whole thing happen too, so it is what it is. We're not judging. We were here to help him. <laughs> they seem to forget this happened right in front of us. It happened so so much in front of us that we were here before they even were. They didn't bother helping the victim. They were too busy trying to con conjure up a story. Yeah. No, it's, it, it's how if if they were supposedly involved and they were the first on scene, how am I the one that helped the victim? It's not only they don't have a license, they pulled out in front of the No, bike. they were conjuring a story. When I got here, they were conjuring a story with these guys. So. Thankfully, there's cameras right here. And this whole interaction has been on camera. See, now all of a sudden they didn't see it. I think they were going to the left lane. I told you, they're conjuring a story when we got here. She chose what side she wanted to be on. Nick, is our car running? All right. No, no, just, just next time don't, because when they're in shock like that, that just happened, just let them know, like, you know what, let's let the paramedics look at it, because we don't know anything for sure, because, yeah. Honestly, so if he was speeding that fast, he, there would have been a much larger impact area. So that's why they were here conjuring a story instead of actually helping him. Yeah, because she's an idiot, but that's all right. I'm the idiot. Yeah. Instead of helping the man on the ground that got hit, I was busy conjuring a story instead. She was trying to like, what the fuck? You want impact all on this side of the car. Yeah. <laughs> Told you. When we got here, that's what they were doing. They are busy making a story up instead. 
I hope you guys get the footage from Little Caesars at least. I know, they got witness statements from the people that didn't see it happen. He literally just said he didn't see it happen. We did see it happen and they haven't asked us. It's alright. This is shoddy police work right here. What is that guy doing? That Jesus! Legal? I don't think that's legal. <laughs> you guys are taking witness statements from people that didn't see anything happen. We actually saw it happen. Nobody's asked us a damn question. That's shoddy ass police work right here. All right. Do us a favor and stay out of the way, okay? I'm, I've been out of the way. You guys are doing a shoddy ass investigation. Bullshit, dude. You all know that we saw it, but you're still not doing anything. She claims they got pulled out on it. What the fuck happened? Thin blue line went over into the red fucking line, apparently. I don't know why these guys are so butthurt. Yeah, he's just being an asshole to you for no fucking reason. You what? You started being an asshole to him for no fucking reason. I was being an asshole. You were being an asshole. Question. No, you are being a jerk. No, you were definitely Maybe being an ass. Well, was I? The yep. cop had no... He didn't ever... He... he, he that about? motorcycle cop had I all this room to fucking pull up and you're... You didn't even listen to what right. I said. I said it shouldn't be like that. So he, he's almost, he's illegal. trying to run over a fucking guy on a fucking bike because he's in a hurry. I don't know. If that's Did you not see we that? On video. I wasn't trying to run him over. Right. He's bullying him out of the way for no fucking reason. He didn't, he could have gone around. The emergency's already been handled. Has it? You know what How is it not? Part? In traffic investigation? Yeah, he can do that. He can take his time doing that part. They're doing a real bad job with it though. They questioned yeah. us. Really? Because you weren't here to help. Because you weren't here to help. You let that guy. You got you. No, you let him lie. On, you let him lie on the ground, bro. How how heartless is that? Okay. Okay. All right. What do you mean I did nothing? Okay. Okay. All right. I did nothing. I did nothing. Okay, I'm biased. I'm biased. You got an unlicensed, uninsured driver. Okay. We watched it happen, and you were telling them lies. Okay, what was the point of impact if you watched it happen? What was the point of impact if you watched it happen? See, she won't even answer that. You guys are bullshitting. You guys are trying to. all have it on video though. What was the point of impact if you watched it happen? Nope. Nope. Okay. And that was pulling out in front of? That was the first point yeah. of impact. Okay. We were a light back and he was going like at least 60. Okay, that's okay. That's not true. Maybe 60. Maybe a little more. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. You guys should go. No.
So the camera footage will show she actually pulled out, went wide, and then came back into this lane. So she pulled out, went wide, the motorcycle was in this lane, and then she decided to come back in this lane unannounced. That's the point, that's how the impact happened. The impact was with the mirror, which threw him off. So all of them just bullshit, and I still didn't get to stay a witness statement. But that's all right, because this is getting posted and it's going to get shared with him and his attorney, so. Cops want to take one statement from somebody that didn't even see it happen, but that's all right. He's right here if you want to provide a statement. Ah, you guys haven't even bothered. Why? I'll let a, his attorney. I watched the whole fucking thing happen. I watched him go wide and then go back into the lane right in front of him. All right. You guys haven't shared any interest in any statement from us. I'm, I was the first on scene. I, I watched saw, everything happen. I saw it from pull out to him right. smacking into the other car. I'm the one that helped the guy get out of his helmet and gear. But I'm the asshole. She went on top of him without notice. No signal. They tried to say that she pulled out in front of him and that that was the impact because he was going too fast. That's not at all what happened. She pulled out wide, came over into his lane and ran right over him. Yeah. So this is how his fingers, his fingers got removed from hitting this mirror. And this idiot couple wanted to make false narrative, man. Just because she's Mexican and, you know, I get it. You know, she's sticking up for the undocumented, unlicensed driver. And I get it. It is what it is. You know, that's a topic for a whole different day. But, you know, it's her fault entirely. And they tried to say that he was speeding. He wasn't fucking flying. That bike? Bro, come on, bro. That, that's not a fucking race bike. <laughs> they don't want our statement. He's trying to get out of here. I don't think he can get out of here. Maybe he can. So whoever the supervisor on the scene is, is really bad at their job. This is ridiculous. What's your YouTube channel? Mm -hmm. I can't tell you that. I'm actually not filming this for, I'm filming this for the guy who got hit by somebody that came over into his lane. Unlike, you know, the other statements you guys got fed. Even that dickhead cop wants to say, oh, you're doing this for YouTube. You're fucking asshole. Idiot. You're an idiot. The fact that you guys haven't taken a statement from us is kind of ridiculous. But nobody's asked for one. Not not a single one of you idiots. You're going to take a statement? You ready? I do. All right, let me get you ready and I'll take a statement. Where's your notepad? Where's all? You're not taking a statement. He just wants his ID. Yeah, you just you want my ID. Yeah, I just want Okay, then where, where's your notepad? You don't need a notepad to take a statement? I don't have your ID, I don't need a notepad. Okay. You do need your ID fixed for the day. 
Okay. Yep. Well, this is ridiculous okay. that. Okay. No, only one of them was an asshole. Yeah, the, his his subordinate was the one being like, "Hey, dude, stop." <laughs> so, guys, just to clarify, I was sitting right here where that cop car is. It happened right in front of us. This car was in that lane. Came into this lane unannounced and took out the motorcyclist at the mirror and so i i have a feeling i didn't see the clip in the back but i feel like he clipped there kind of came out and then he re hit that side but yeah yeah but that's what removed his fingers which sucks and she obviously she has no license which means she likely doesn't have insurance So there's his left glove, guys. You can see how mangled it got from contact with the mirror. And the police don't want to take an actual statement from somebody that saw the accident with their own two eyes. Well, they have to. It's, yeah, it's can't drivable. Well, you can't drive it. Yeah. it no, that, they won't. That's not why. If it's drivable, they would have let them left. Really? Even without a license? Apparently, they don't give a shit out here. That's crazy. This is why I tell you guys to record everything after an accident. She's not even going to get a ticket. So, Costa Mesa PD, what's today's time and date? Time and date. Time and date. Okay, so 4 p.m. April 7th, Costa Mesa PD refused to take a statement of what happened here uh, in regards to this guy's uh, accident by an unlicensed motorist. Um, so this is Costa Mesa Police Department, guys. And they are refusing to take statements from a witness. This guy was pretending he was going to take one, but the guy with the actual report and clipboard is this gentleman. He is the traffic investigator. He didn't even bother asking the only people that saw it happen. They got to take pictures of how they found the bike. You guys send me the clip. Who recorded it after it happened? Who was recording me helping him? Send that to me right now. What? Send it to me right now. Bike is messed up. Yeah, it's totally. And the cars are sideways. I'm sure it's like, doesn't mean it's total, but they're, they're sideways. Guys, this is why I quit riding because people like her and him. This is literally why I quit riding. And his yeah. bike was loud as shit. That's such a nice bike, too. Not anymore. It was such a nice bike. That 
helmet shaved his head though. Yeah. Like, like, where was so it? Florida? Where that's why that's helmets? why I had the hardened gloves so that that wouldn't have happened if I hit somebody like that. What was it? Florida where they don't allow yeah. you to ride around without helmets? No, not allow you. They don't require you. Yeah, don't require you to. Sir, what's your name and badge number? I need your badge number just real quick. Let me get that one real quick. 462. 462. All right. So this is the deputy, the officer that refused to take my statement. What number? What's the address here? That one's 635. So Officer Torres is the one that refused to take the statement of the actual person that saw what happened. So they're doing a half-ass report right now. They took a statement from somebody who admitted that they were over two lights away when the accident occurred. Yeah. So this right here is police corruption, guys, to cover up what actually happened here. That The lady who hit the motorcycle is pulled out right in front of us. We saw it with our own two eyes. You guys were hiring, by the way, if you guys wanted to. I, I have no interest. Apply with you guys. I have what? no interest. That's gross. Why would you even say that? You, the fact that you refuse to take statement from the only person who saw it actually happen. Seeing you guys act like this, and then you say, "Oh, come get a job with us." No, that sounds thank exciting. You. No, thank you. Watch. She's not even gonna get a ticket for driving without a license either. Well, this guy will have a hell of a case when he sees, when the attorney sees that they didn't even put a full report in. Eyewitness report. At that exactly. Time. Like, what the fuck? That's so crooked. All right, we're going to ask again. I know you guys have phones. If you guys interfere with our job. We we're not interfering. Theory. How are we interfering? Because if I ask you, hey, please stay back. And, you and we are. Cross, we are. Well, no, we, we stayed back. I'm We've done everything you've asked. What you guys did to get arrested. Whether or not you guys report cameras with the cameras or not. Right. So, do me a favor. We'll get to that point. Just stay behind that line, and it's all good. That's fine. I'll back up to that line. Cool. Appreciate it. Take one step but do you understand how asinine it is to not take a full report over an accident like this? But you're not the one taking the report. He is. Yeah, I mean, you still need your ID if you're going to provide a But I would have given it to him. He, the one taking the report. You're not taking the report. I was the one that saw it happen. You want to give a statement? You don't want it. He doesn't want it. He hasn't. Not has he? He hasn't even tried. Any information so, to you? So then, what's the point of bringing it up if, if it is, we're going nowhere? Because I would like to provide one to the gentleman if, that was actually here to do the traffic investigation. He comes over here. And let, let me get your information. And we'll no, not you. You're not. Him. You're not the one. He's already writing up the report. Right. He's insisting on providing a statement. So his ID, so no, not to you. We'll provide it to him, not you. Now he's lying. Because you just said we're not going to provide a statement without ID. He will, just not to you. No, if they wanted my statement, they would have already asked for it. So that's the one that refused to take the statement. I was first there. They didn't take my statement. I watched it happen right in front of me. They left the couple 
who hit the guy with no license. They didn't even get a ticket. That's fucked up.